Pastor Ie Adeboye reviews the candidate he will support for 2023 presidency. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we we'll put hot duty news update. Please click on the notification bell. What a 2023 presidential election draws closer. Some ministers of God have been vocally concerning, have been vocal concerning the candidates they will support. In this light, the General Levesia Gio of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, the RCCG, Pastor E. Enoch E. Adeboye, has, while speaking to his members during the Holy Ghost service for July, revealed the candidate he will support for the 2023 presidency. He started by saying that Nigerians, especially youth, are, more becoming, are becoming more interested in politics than before. As a result, he has encouraged his children to be involved in politics. Which is interested in politics? Shouldn't Christians be interested? He continued. Speaking on the candidate he will support, the cleric said, God rules in the affairs of men and he gives power to whoever he wants. That is what the Bible says and that is why I am waiting. The candidate God chooses is the candidate I will support for the 2023 presidency. If any politician comes to me for prayers, I will pray. But who am I supporting? The one God chooses. Having said that, he advised his members to get a permanent voter's card and vote for the preferred candidate in the election. Uh, well, who then did he review? Well, of course, you know that um, these bloggers, they do anything to get... Um, to get uh, um, views and readers. You should know these people now. These people can do and undo. Just look at, with the headline, you would think that he reviewed. And my mind tell me, say no go review, sir. Sure. Well, um, Adeboye is, 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 is being careful. Adeboye is being careful. But um, the thing is, um, that the GO, uh, at the end of the day, he go vote for who he go vote for, sure. It's not really necessary. You come out and see who you're voting for. Sincerely, it's not necessary. It is not. At the end of the day, everybody shall get your own choice. Hmm? Some people decide to be vocal with their, some people decide not to be vocal. Any which way, they have the right to do whatever they intend to do. Who then did they reveal? Too dummy to think, right up without sense, deceiving your soul, or because you are looking for money through clicks by posting deceiving title. The disease will catch up with you soonest. Hmm? You we don't need African magic to know whom God is supporting. Are you that? Tell us of the bitter truth. Haba. People will not want to put words in this man's mouth. Okay. Everywhere you go, Peter, we want him to become the president of Nigeria, not Atiku or Tunumbu. Okay. Only your village, not everywhere you go. How many state towns have you visited since you were born? It is only in your village that they are supporting P2B. Are supporting P2B, but Nigerians are suddenly behind us. See what Jibola I met, you know, Well, people should allow people to make their choices. Sincerely, at this point, I've come to realize that people have their choice to make. At the end of the day, let them support whoever they want to support. They have that right to do so. If they come out vocally, say they want to support this person, no wahala. If you decide to engage them and see, you know, if you're going to be able to win them over to your side, if you support an article or P2B or Kwankwasong, Feel free to do that in a very civilized manner. You might even win them over, but at the end of the day, just make sure you do it in a civilized manner. Okay. My brother, Peter B is not only in the southeast to Midibet and uh Obi supporters. Get that into your score. I'm a Doma guy from Benue State in Middle Belt. Hmm. Okay. Don't be deceived. P2B is now everywhere. It's now known everywhere, in case you don't believe. If you have friends that are not, please call and ask, except if he or she is an analog person. <laughs> wow. Okay, you're talking about Agba, Agbadu and Khan and Cassava Man, and I'm sorry for you. Why do you prefer darkness more than light? Why this is what you people did? Why? This is what you people did in 2015, and now you're still supporting your ancestor. Forget about tribalism. Say the truth. For once, vote for P2B for, for the betterment of the country. Well, 
like I said before, everybody is, is um, you know, is um, allowed or permitted. Everybody have their choice to make. And of course, everybody have their, have their choice to also make to be vocal about their choice or, you know, not vocal about it. They can decide to keep it in their mind and heart. Huh? At the end of the day, we shall not say that the Jew go vote for somebody. He just Buhari and his pastor look at Nigeria now. We care less about what he said. Buhari and Usibanji came to power for a reason. They came to power because God allowed it to happen. God allowed Buhari to happen to Nigeria so that we can learn a lesson and get closer to him. Now see how the youth are involved in politics compared to years back. That's an election day. The people queuing to vote are the older ones. Why do youth play ball on the streets? Today, the youth are weak because Buhari happened to them. So they want to fight back and take back our their country. Our momo don't do. Huh. Okay, I love this so sincerely. And the what I love about this 2023 election is that you are involved. I am just hoping that um, this flame that has been kindled is not going to fizzle out. It's not going to grow dim. It is going to continue to be rekindled even beyond the general election. And let me tell you, I hope um all this clamor is not just for presidential election alone. I hope you're going to do same for state election, for local government election, for um, speaker, house speaker, for councillorship. I hope you're going to come out to vote for them because, um, yes, we need a, a good we need a good man at the top, and as well, we all need good men. We need good men in our position so that they can work together for the betterment of Nigeria. But for being a Yoruba fanatic, he cannot be proud to tell us congratulations like other pastors to vote for P2B. Hmm, of course, um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. The day Moses knew that he was not an Egyptian was the day he started identifying with his Hebrew people. So he can never listen with his own to another person. It is not by Blikhan. Haba. Then Tima never took anything. Also. People don't drink Panado for a any, for any headache. Okay. God Almighty has chosen P2B to make Nigeria to work again. We are committing more sin to say God has chosen Peter B. He has not. Be careful. Una wala too much. And who is that chosen one? Peter B. For Jesus said, upon that rock, Peter, I will build my church, Nigeria, and the gate of hell, APC and PDP shall not prevail. <laughs> hey, the kind of people that, that people are giving me so much joy. Huh? This natural witches and witches are in politics and bezeling and money, please. We need more Christians and Muslims with good heart and the fear of God. Hmm. Okay, well, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come away next time, enjoy the rest of your day.